I was watching some monkey meme compilations the other day, and a video from Jay Schlapp popped up in my recommended. I've heard the name, but this is the first content of his I've seen. This was that video. <laughs> Fellas, you ever, you ever had a calling? You ever felt like you, you wanted to do something? It's happened to me. It's happened to me. For the first time in my life, everything just makes sense. You guys know this image. You know this image very well. It's a picture of a monkey with his balls out. They're, they're a fantastic, mag magnificent pair of balls. Not only is this image uh, fun to send as a reply to literally everything on Twitter.com, it's got more influence than you probably know. Like here, let's do a little exercise. Go on Google.com and look up King Kong balls. There's a, there's a statue of them. Look, are you kidding me? Not only is it a real thing, it's, it's, you can go there and you can see him in Prague, which is in the Czech Republic, somewhere very, very far away. Yeah, he's right here. There he is. There's King Kong balls. I think you know where this is going. So, I'm sure you can tell by my haircut that time has passed, and unfortunately we could not make the trip happen. Um, United Airlines fucked us over in the rawest way possible, um, and uh, it, just couldn't, it just couldn't happen. And I thought that was where the story would end. But it's not. You can buy it? For ninety-five grand, what you can buy a fucking you can sculpture buy the sculpture of the of the of Holy the shit. of the monkey. Yeah, look at this shit. It's ninety-five k. <laughs> oh my shit. god! The guy who made King Kong balls also made smaller versions of King Kong balls that you can buy. This one is on a table and sells for ninety-five thousand dollars. It's a smaller one for sixty-nine thousand dollars. This one's made of it. This one's made of. Fucking asphalt makes little, little bite-sized miniature ones for, for a couple thousand dollars. All the money we make is gonna go towards the procurement. Not just of the first statue, that's 95,000 bucks. Not just of the second one, that's 69,000 bucks. Fucking all of them. I want every single fucking monkey statue and I'm gonna fucking get them. Did he just say every monkey statue? In order to not completely rip off Dennis Francesco, I'm gonna rip off Michelangelo instead, the world-renowned painter, sculptor, and lover of men. And more specifically, one of the most recognizable paintings of all time and the centerpiece of the Sistine Chapel, the creation of Adam. Stick around to the end if you're interested in winning a miniature monkey. I'm gonna do a giveaway. To get good reference photos of Schlatt, I had to watch a ton of the Chuckle Sandwich podcast and the stuff he's doing with Miskiff on OTK. I actually enjoyed both. I decided to take out the cherubs from the original painting and just replace it with Jambo, Schleid's cat. The placement of the cherubs seemed a little sus, you know what I mean? It just didn't seem like a good look. This 3D printer is called the Piapoli Phenom L. It's one of the largest consumer resin printers on the market, for a decent price anyway. This was a good excuse to pick one up. This is UV resin. It runs about $30 a bottle and cures using UV light. I'm using isopropyl alcohol to wash away any uncured resin. This makes sure all the details are crisp.
Under this is about five failed prints. Turns out it was getting too cold at night, and the resin was acting a little funky. This is called the support structure. Seems like a big waste of resin, but actually, the print wouldn't print without it. Every place the support's touched leaves a little bit of a nib that needs to be sanded down or trimmed with an X-Acto knife. There's a couple defects on the monkey. His tricep was flat and his thumb didn't really come out like it was supposed to. We're just going to add a little bit of epoxy clay and sculpt on top. I'm painting it here to smooth out any small imperfections that could be transferred onto the mold. For the form, it's just made out of dollar store foam board and some hot glue. This silicone is about $300, and if it's not mixed correctly or something goes wrong, you're just stuck with a bunch of expensive goop. Luckily, it's pretty easy. It's just a one-to-one -one mix by volume. This is sped up by about 500%. You have to pour the silicone in a thin ribbon in order to not introduce new air bubbles. Those bubbles could show up in the final casting. I'm vibrating the table here to get rid of any residual air bubbles. Slits need to be cut into the mold to release the master. Thought I'd make you my guest and light up the runway with something from my personal collection. As far as I know, this is the only one in existence. For this statue, it's about 60 pounds of this bismuth and tin alloy. Did a little bit of a test in this coin mold and I'm really happy with the detail. This stuff is called slag or dross. It's easily skimmed off the top. The only thing that's stopping 60 pounds of molten metal from spilling out all over the floor is a couple layers of masking tape. Trust me guys, I'm a professional. I made this look a lot easier than it was. It took two people and 20 minutes to free this from the mold. The whole time we're basically wrestling an 80 pound weight. 20 pounds of silicone and 60 pounds of metal. That whole process that I just showed you I had to do again for the other statue. Another 20 pounds of silicone and another 60 pounds of metal. I want the statue to have a green patina, kind of like the Statue of Liberty. In order to do that, we need a copper coat the outside. The way we're going to do this is called electroforming. 
I actually have a tutorial on this if you want to learn more. But the simple explanation is, I'm transferring copper from the plate onto the statue through the blue liquid with electricity. This patina spray is a mix of copper acetate and ammonia, and it really stinks. I think a tasteful amount of 24 karat gold leaf will really set this over the top. Oh, and I almost forgot. No statue would be complete without an oak finish table. This video took two months and over $5,000 to make. There's a good chance it'll be demonetized because of the subject of the art, but either way, I still think it's worth it. If you like the video, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And my goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing. If you'd like to win a 1 20th scale Big Nut Monkey, make sure you're subscribed and comment on this video. And a winner will be randomly selected in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching.